So the next one, uh, can you tell us about molybdenum? Molybdenum. 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 Uh, <laughs> and your multi-molybdenum product. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, well, yeah, frankly, uh, a lot of uh, – uh, it's not a micronutrient that's needed often, but it is one that is needed uh, and is necessary. Uh, surprisingly, uh, with uh, surprising different crops – but uh, we find that the combination of those six different, those particular six different micronutrients, work very, very well in generally reducing uh, deficiency or identifying where the deficiency is coming from. You know, so if you don't know and you need a quick fix, use the blend and just you know you'll you'll get it fixed right then. And you get a quick fix, but you know, do your tissue culture and then you get a specific result and then you can use that specific micronutrient to uh, to adjust it. But it just uh, Using, you know, again, uh, we were talking a little bit about this before the show, you know, uh, uh, a fertilizer program, I always analogize it to like those old stereos we had in the 80s. Either you got three knobs and you're constantly messing with them or you got a million switches and that's your micronutrients. Either you've got a blend that is set and you use it at different times to slightly change the wad and that's why we've got TM7 and Cyto Plus or you've got uh, all these different micronutrients and you're adding a little molybdenum with a little calcium with a little boron with a little copper you know and you know using those as your soil tests tell you it doesn't have to be that difficult guys you know you don't have to do a a, a sap test every two weeks you know it's, it's a good thing to learn and it's fun to do but it's just not necessary most of the time most of the time a little bit of tm7 a little bit of multi amino will will get you right where you need to be and there's plenty of other good organic and inorganic micronutrient packs that can help you with those situations. But uh, but there are those uh, unique situations, like with Oregon soil, where you need to supplement with boron uh, more than other soils. But there are uh, specific crops that are very boron sensitive. Uh, that could be the case with molybdenum as well, which is why they don't add it in with as much uh, fertilizer. But one of the things that they do in the ag world, which is different than uh, the cannabis world, is mo they, they buy those two products separately. You buy your N, your P, and your K, and then you buy a micronutrient pack or micronutrients. Whereas with in our industry, they blend those together, you know, and you get, uh, you know, a three-part uh, hydroponic mix, or you get a single part with all your NPK and your micronutrients in one thing. To get that biology, to get that fit in a bottle, you have to compromise somewhere. And usually that compromise is in performance. You get better performance by breaking those up into separate pieces. But how difficult do you want to make uh, bake in the cake? You know, you want to buy cake mix or you want to buy flour and all the pieces. You know, both will get you to the same place. Know what you're buying. Read your read your bottles. Exactly. 